Today, Thierry Porto is feeling good. But the past two years of his life have been dominated by a legal battle that left him feeling way out of his depth. Gardening is like therapy. It's calming and it does me good to be outdoors. The trial really took its toll on me. I suffered from depression. We're simple people who aren't used to being involved in big politics. The pressure almost led us to divorce. Thierry Porteau has gone up against a powerful force in French politics, the right-wing Front National. Yet he had high hopes when he joined the party back in 2011. The Porteaux were most impressed by Marine Le Pen, the leader of the Front National and the daughter of the party's founder, Jean-Marie Le Pen. They felt that Marine was taking the party in a new direction, away from the right-wing course pursued by her father. She made a name for herself by de-demonizing the party. It might sound laughable to some, but Marine Le Pen reminded me a bit of Nelson Mandela. In her speeches, she said she wanted to unite French citizens regardless of their background. I think that our society is very divided, and that bothers me. Thierry and his wife Nadia joined the party. And not only that, they also offered to be candidates for the Front National in their village of saint aubin near Toulouse. Supporters of the party's new direction, they quickly distanced themselves from the politics of Jean-Marie Le Pen, who had been repeatedly found guilty of Holocaust denial. Jean-Marie Le Pen became infamous for claiming that the gas chambers in Nazi concentration camps were a detail of history. But after a year and a half in the Front National, the Porteaux realized that Marine Le Pen's views weren't so different from her father's. I've been answering this question for 30 years and I've always been very clear on this subject. For me, the gas chambers aren't a detail of history, they're a symbol. Political scientist Nona Mayer says Marine Le Pen won't break completely with her father's views for fear of putting off right-wing supporters. Marine was always Jean-Marie's favorite, the daughter who never betrayed him. He systematically helped her get where she is today against the wishes of the old guard. Many of them were against her because they felt she was too left-wing and didn't embody the right-wing nationalism they defend. The Portos also soon felt the ire of the right-wing nationalists during the local election campaign two years ago. One day, one of the local heads of the party told me, when the Front National come to power, we'll set up a guillotine on Capitol Square. Then we'll guillotine all the Arabs, the gays, our political opponents, the socialists and the UMP. That shocked me. It was even worse for me and my children to be told that we were ready for the ovens, because my family comes from Algeria. That was too much for the Portos. They left the Front National and went public. They refused to let the party silence them, and even fought for their rights in court. Yet, constant threats and harassment from fanatical party members forced them to leave their home. The Front National has many other disgruntled members. They're disappointed with the party's direction under Marine Le Pen. They've seen her hang on to the party's anti-European, anti-Islamic and anti-Semitic views, just couching them in different terms. The insights and experiences of these members could prove dangerous for the party. Her father is stopping her from coming to power, so she has to do something. Either he toes her line or she'll finish him off. He's got no choice. But he always wants to be in charge. They're one and the same to me. The Front National is and remains a right-wing party. And Marine Le Pen knew that when she joined years ago. She won't change now. Marine has now suspended her father from the party he founded, and the Porteaux are enjoying watching the Le Pen's public tiff.
I have the feeling he just can't stand the National Front continuing to exist when he's no longer its leader. That's it. I'm sorry. To those who want me dead and buried, I say the corpse is still alive and well. Political experts view the Le Pen family feud and the father's temporary expulsion from the party as a calculated move. They're fighting because two important electoral events are looming, regional elections in the fall and presidential elections in 2017. Marine Le Pen doesn't want her father to harm this softer, de-demonized image she's created for the party. So she's trying to emancipate herself from her father. And that's where the problems start. He feels that his creation's escaping his clutches. Thierry Porteau has won his legal battle with the Front National and can speak openly about his experiences. He gets a certain satisfaction from watching the Le Pens harm the party with their infighting. But he has no plans to get involved in politics again anytime soon.